y'all, Russ here of ATV. Welcome! We are leaving Quartzite. Yay! Nice looking Class B there. I thought about getting one of those. I looked at them before I got the van. The, the Beast the Sprinter van. But I couldn't find anything with less than 170 or 80,000 miles. They were all kind of wore out. But I'm glad I got what I did. All right, right there on the right, there's American Custom Tire. We are heading for I-10 westbound. I'm going to be heading north. I'm going to go out to that schoolie Palooza out in Ehr Ehrenberg. I think they're just getting going out there, but we'll go out and drive through, maybe fly the drone. We'll see some school buses all converted. Right, gonna make a left here. This is the world famous exit 17 on I 10. This is one busy place here. Alright, here we go. I won't be back to Quartzite for a few days. Filmed as much as I could, did the campgrounds. Trails, Big Tent, Tyson Wells. Showed you as much as I could this year. But I'll be back next week. Uh, next week, actually, at the end of next week, will be uh, the Arts and Crafts Show at Tyson. And then first part of February is also the Gold Show. Both of those I will be filming. We'll be at. There's exit 11, that's Dome Rock. You can access Dome Rock out here. I always like driving through this canyon. It's a pretty drop down to uh, the Colorado River. This is also pretty much at the end of the Colorado Indian Reservation. Um, the Trout Crit. Starts down here and goes all the way up through Parker, clear over on the California side of the river. It is a huge area for the reservation. All right, not too much farther. On the left is that big port of entry uh, way station for Arizona. You hardly ever see the one on the right here open. Maybe once in a while. Alright, we're looking for exit one. One more mile. Ehrenberg Parker. Well, actually, when I leave uh, this schoolie palooza, I'm going to cut up through Parker. Going up to Havasu. Got some filming to do up there. Plus, I'm going to start the van build. Hopefully uh, sometime next week. Exit 1. Here we go. I actually watched a YouTube video to find out how to get here. <laughs> There's so many different areas to camp down here. Okay, if you go to the right, that would actually take you into the community of Ehrenberg, but we're going to go to the left. I see a little blue sky off in the distance, finally. This cloud cover has been hanging. All right, we're going to go around the roundabout. Now, if you went to the right, it'd take you down to the river. There's also BLM camping area down there along the river. But they decided to hold their event out on this frontage road. Truthfully, I've never driven out this far. That's what they showed in that video. Okay, here we go. 
They said it's like about two and a half miles from about right here. So it's quite a ways back. And looks like the pavement, the good stuff, is ending here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Getting a little rougher. Probably going to turn into dirt up here somewhere. Yeah, I've never been out here. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure it's nice. You know, one thing you have when you're this close to Blythe in the river is excellent cell phone coverage. they got big towers here that are just booming. You're, you're far enough away from Quartzite you don't get into all the overload of their towers. Oh yeah, this road's getting rougher. And looks like it's going to end up here. Yep. Now we're on the dirt. Kind of washboardy. All right, just slow and go. Okay, in the video they said stay to the right of this fork. Okay. See a few rigs over there camping. What's the sign say? Do not enter when flooded. Okay. Yeah, this is really rough. Bolt down the hatches when you come back here. Alright, I see a lot of rigs. And I see schoolies way off in the distance. Still got a little ways to go yet. Actually, this is kind of nice. I've never been back in here. Whoa, hello. He's gone. Alright, looks like we made it. I see the sign says schoolie. Here they are. There'll probably be a bunch more coming out here, I'm sure. Well, let's do a little drive around and I'll fly the drone. You know, I seriously considered doing a schoolie conversion. Maybe someday. But I thought and looked pretty hard at them. You know you can get really good deals on used buses and they're very well maintained and they're all diesel. Like that one of Jamie, uh, he got that Engematic Pneumatic, uh, excellent deal. He only paid like 1600 for it. Runs like a top. But you gotta convert it too. Hey look at the guy playing the guitar up top. Living the life. All different kinds of buses. I see some converted transit buses. A few vans. There's a Class C. Well, let me swing back around. Different colored buses. Cool. I bet more people come out for this. Looks like they got a fire pit getting ready to go. A lot of solar out here too. Check out the umbrella on the back of that one. That's cool. Got a little porch. Look at that. Now that's perfect. Back porch on a schoolie. Looks like some of them have uh, like decks up top. You can go up and sit on. Look at the van top on top of that one. 
That's unique. That's what I like about schoolies. You can do whatever you want with them. Alright, well. Let's go over on the other side. I'll drive through. There's a big one. Looks like they took out most of the windows on that one. Very well insulated. Both those. Cool. There's another transit bus one it looks like. Those short ones, I bet that thing has a ton of power. I bet it's got a good diesel in it. Nice. Alright, well let me circle back around. We'll go out a little ways. I'll fly the drone, get a couple aerial shots. Because I gotta get on the way. Oh, look! That was like a Greyhound or a Trailways bus. I'll be darned clear the window for you. <laughs> Ton of dust. Alrighty. Well, I'll go out a little ways and we'll fly the drone. Once again, we're about, oh, this is about two miles from Ehrenberg, out in the middle of the desert. You take that frontage road to come out here. Never been back here. I never knew this was even here. I knew about Tom Wells, which is a few miles up the road. Never knew you could camp here like this. Learn something new. Alright, well let me get on the other side of this little wash here and then that looks like a good flat area. I'll launch a drone from there. right in here. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, up we go. Look at all the off-road trails out there. Look at that. You could four-wheel a long ways. There's, there's our site. Ghoulie Palooza 2020. Pretty cool. say there's at least 50 60 rigs or better probably more than that down there I know they even got their own website you can look up all right well before I land I'll do a pan around here Yeah, look at all the off-road you can do. Now up that direction is at Tom Wells. Interstate's over that way. And that straight on that would be Ehrenberg. Okay, well, let's get landed. Well, cool. I hope they have a good time out here. But I gotta get on my way. Heading north. 
going up Havasu and then uh, I got to start getting uh, things in order to get working on this van it's gonna be springtime and uh, time to travel for I know it heck it's almost the end of January <laughs> already 2020 back on this road rough road Well, maybe sometime I'll come out here and camp. I don't know. If I was this far out, I'd rather be over by the river, truthfully. But which is right, right up the road here, Colorado River Basin. Right, we're almost at the end of this dirt. Looking forward to that pavement. Yay, made it. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut through Ehrenberg and then go up uh, along the river, Colorado River. Well, it was a good few days in Quartzsite. Had a good time. Met a lot of people. Got to see the big tent again. That was probably my uh, 14th time of being in that big tent. It was my sixth time to film it. Six videos have been done by me about that big tent. Okay, we're going to cut across the freeway here. Cut down into town, Ehrenberg, and then uh, head up this uh, Poston Road. But all in all, I'd say Quartzsite was a success. The vendors were doing very well. It was a very busy place. Once again, I will be back there next week. Probably for at least one to two days. And actually once a week for the next few weeks. I'll probably be down in Quartzsite. But the rest of the time is going to be spent on this van. We're doing a van build. Going to start filming. Things to do. Things to build. So we can get on the road. Also put down in the comments. If you visited Quartzsite this year. What would you think of it? Let me know. I'm always interested to hear how people enjoyed Quartzsite, or if you didn't, who knows. Alrighty, this is a community of Ehrenberg. I got quite a few miles before I get on up to Havasu. Okay, talk soon. <laughs>